We jump straight in. The all-consuming Red Death. Six hundred years ago, King Arthur led the great escape from the homelands, where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague. Leading people to Avalon, he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the Four Dwellers. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleansed the land of the weirdness, a primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it by any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. <laughs> okay. We'll go standard enough. Gotta go with the Tash. I uh, won't worry too much about the hair or anything. Can really kind of go nuts on that, eh? No, we want to do normal. We'll do the beginning. Yes. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again. And I hope this time you'll cooperate without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? Oh, okay. That'd be heavy armor. Aesthetics blocking. Archery, medium armor. Like a rogue, then with light armor. Mage. Hey, Carolina. Hmm. Gonna go hunting. Hunting? I wouldn't take you for a hunter, but as they say upstairs, looks can be deceiving. And you're, what, hunting just to get by? Or do you do something with your catch? Increase the quality of crafted potions, increase the quality of meals. You just get, go all in on the archery. And yet you look like a beggar. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. We must have taken all you had when you came here. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to stop. I always found it 
puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but then there's just <laughs> no excuse for the stench. There they are, finally. I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't play the first Tainted Grail. Do you mean like the card game kind of roguelike thing, or the King Arthur one? Dead, eh? All right, I have to take all. Uh, open equipment, mate. Put on the hood. Man's armor. The very different one than this. Yeah, yeah. I think they were all kind of different. Because wasn't the other one like a turn-based kind of XCOM style thing? I am left-handed. We can have different loadouts. I like that already. Um, I don't know. I don't want to describe the thing. Fair enough. <laughs> that seven commandments first came the prophet then came the world word the word is scared pope is cardinal of the priest receive the word the word is the way we're all brothers and sisters starving for the word sustenance strength cure salvation do not doubt your faith and you will be rewarded um see he did say go left. But let's go right. <laughs> Beautiful Liliana. Wait, wait, wait. Can I take the arrow? Yes. Awesome. The roast. Take the moonshine. We'll leave the mug. Take the mead. I really like Liliana. King Grail Conquest is apparently the name on Steam now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd seen um, like Stratman in that plate. And uh, Carson. Recipes. Very nice. There's some lockpicks. Use random ingredients. We don't have any ingredients, that's fine. It's giving me oblivion vibes from the start. Yeah, Carson played a lot of it, yeah. Okay. Commandments again, we'll take it. We'll take it. Seems someone broke the lock. Convenient. Yeah, I'd watched a little bit of the um oh, 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 oh. I was gonna say it's showing me my <laughs> my weapon buttons. It's still scaring by the time you turn the corner it'll be encumbered. Am I not already encumbered? Oh. 
Okay, it is a corpse. I, I was just gonna say, is it something else? Happenings of a weary mind. Darkness here, endless, everything breathes, calls crisply. Red monk came to put the fire in my chest, but I knew it was a good thing. First, only king visited me the night before. Arthur wept, <coughs> and then reached to me with his hand. And it's not two, but four, never closer to the king's grace. Then he disappeared. The bleeding heart of the plague beats in frantic despair. One, two, one, two. There's the rhythm behind the wall. I know what I feel it. One, two, one, two. Organic machinery that created this place and these people. Put ears to the walls and listen. One, two, one, two, listen. And then they were experimenting on him. And it looks. I thought you'd be able to hear something. Sweet. Theft is now at 11. We'll take the heart that was in a jar. Baby Jones. You haven't even got to the end of the hallway yet. <laughs> Grab that out of you there. Thank you. Roots, more mead, salt and flour, bit of milk, casket that we need to lockpick for. My dear Martin, I have finally arrived at the island asylum and have received my preliminary medical examination. Father Vaughan said that my symptoms point to the very early stages of the Red Death and that I did very well to come here on my own will. I'm still everything in his power to help me. Mm. Quest. So the mysterious knight told me how to um, find him deeper within the dungeon. The husband of one of the red priest victims must be wondering what happened to her. Uh, we're at thirty-eight out of one fifty, so we're we're good. In case you're wondering. Also, a bow and arrow would be nice. I'm presuming a lot of people went, um, or will go mage to start with. Oh, fun! Undead. I do always love in a, an RPG when you can take whatever they're actually wearing instead of just randomly generated kind of loot off them. There's a burrow hole in the left temporal bone, so he, yeah, lobotomized them. <laughs> Wasn't that the, the treatment before for most injuries? You drill a hole in their head. Yeah, the excess fluid. Place the brain in a mixture of alcohol and cedar oils for further examination. <clears throat> Problem is that, is that yeah, let's we'll see. Um, to see how often we can uh, sell stuff. This is like the progression of the Red Death. 
maybe. These brains are not properly stored. My players would be outraged. See three patients suffering <clears throat> with mild symptoms of the Red Death. And with this batch, I decided to test a new treatment derived from creatures touched by weirdness. Over the course of the last week, these patients were all given weird beast bone meal mixed in with their food. Oh no. And he was actually suffering from typhoid, so we burned the body. <coughs> On the fifth day, it was like some immune force possessed her. She pulled the chains that were holding her off the wall. She tried to bend the iron bars or sell apart floor. She her heart gave out before she managed to escape. Seems to have little to no effect on the disease. <laughs> it is not deemed a failure. Fair. Patient didn't make it. That's a pretty wild assumption. A drowner tongue. No, it's on weirdness. Leave that up for a second. Monster blood. Nice. Nice. Um, how is the... Is it bright enough and everything for you guys? I was messing around with the gamma on the starting screen. Good stuff. Aww. Father Vaughn's notes. Her skinny seven months pregnant. How long was she here? Because that child over there is kind of grown. Supposedly the weirdness might have altered the woman's physique. Psyche. Sorry. Anger. Outbursts. Melancholia. As for physical alterations, much more affected by weirdness than the mother as if it absorbed it all. Fetus starts to grow rapidly. Okay. So that, that actually does explain. Mother did not survive. Catherine died in childbirth in one of the cells. I should tell her husband the truth. More dead people with arrows in them. I'd like to remind you that uh, what I've mentioned numerous times before, namely that the alchemical station should be cleared after each use, especially when you're so careless with caustic and toxic substances. Indeed. Refresher, elementary knowledge about the ingredients of a healing concoction. Those are alcohol and sage, not poisonous plants and hearts. Awesome. I need the lab key. Oh, okay. So we can come back here. Footsteps, people. We can kill them. Just a lap key. And an iron arrow. People don't have a bow. Wait, push? Not dead yet. I know, right? Oh, hello. We're just talking about you. I'll you with fire. 
Staggered him. Nice. The red priest. You don't look as good as the other one with the necklace. Specifically with the necklace. <coughs> Grab everything. Monster brains, devil snare spirits, more brains. <coughs> Jesus. Pure cry, what was us? What was us? We have escaped that only for it to follow us all the way to the promised land. Average build, potential plus plus. Mother Mines, that's Irish. Well, or Gaelic, we'll say. Southern Road to Connacht. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that. This is like all Arthurian legend, isn't it? <clears throat> There's a lot of reading. Spectral sword. Cool. <clears throat> Cost 20 mana. Base damage of 8 to 11 for that sword. You're doing 9 to 14. You're doing 4 to 6. And you're doing 9 to 10. We're kind of good on what we have. We got five armor and medium, three light armor. Nothing crazy there. All the same. We'll keep our two armor hood. Your three armor. You look better. And you're all just boots. Like that, it gives you a comparison straight away. The keys wheel. Oh, nice. We can switch between our loadouts there. Awesome. We have money. <clears throat> right, we want to craft health potions. We'll definitely need that. Definitely won't be grave robbing or anything like that. Like a 3D stone shirt. Hi, Zaria. How are you? Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. How sneaky can we be? Be on guard. Hearts the unclean. All right, there seems to be a kind of a, a stagger on the perfect block. 
which is nice. What is our... What's our potion button? So we can switch our loadouts with the numpad, that's fine. Eat food, X. Equipment. I want to need, need to put it on the quick use wheel. I have food, but also, what's that symbol in the bottom corner mean? What does that mean? I think it helps with unchicken chicken resolve when you're dead. True. No, that's just using it. Um, that's the autofill slot. Okay. Here's our bag. Okay. I didn't even look at this. Health potion. I can just come in and use it. What can I equip it? Doesn't seem so. All of our weapons, magic stuff, <laughs> all of our armor. We're at about half weight. We're good. Grants haste. Okay. Uh, our little bits of consumable. Oh, plus five max health permanently. Well then. All our crafting supplies, all our readables, we have a ton of them. Quest items. Put the letter in the set's keys. Recipes, uh, we've already learned them. Cool. And then other. All right, our status. We have a ton of health coming back to us. Strength. One hand is 11, blocking is 10, athletics is 13. Extends the parry window with more blocking, cool. Light armor is 10, medium armor is 13. We are supposed to be a bow user, but we just haven't got a bow yet. Crafting is 19, that's fine. Magic is the base level. For some reason our Theft skill is 19 or whatever it is. Crazy. Grants haste, grants reach. Okay, now do we have anything that we can actually make? Food. <laughs> That bone meal. Oh, there's another dude there. Let's try this again. I think it put the, the weapon in a position where when we could hit and we did a ton of damage to him. I'll take that blood clot. Lovely. Always wanted one. Uh, touch wood, that'll never happen. Empty corpse? God damn it. Anything in that barrel? No. I've always wanted a brain. 
31. Uh, that's interesting. Who am I going to sell all these brains to? Oh, nice. Some more food. Although I do like that they didn't just throw rats at you as the first enemy. It's gonna be spiders. Oh, we're back here. I didn't even notice this, um... This part of the room. In, in case you missed the key for some reason, you can get in that way. Cool. Alright, let's continue down the stairs. We kind of took a shortcut off the side. Here be dragons. <laughs> yeah, you'll get outside and then you just get killed instantly. Okay, that's our dude. I think we did well there. We only came out two thirds full. Um, right, let's see. Draining our stamp. And we can take the broken arrow back. Broken arrow there. Okay. So we should be able to use broken arrows to replace arrows eventually. You took your sweet time, eh? But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Who are you? Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the Island Asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. You, you said you got out before. Why don't you just take me the way you went out? Loading there. Weird prism or plasm, excuse me. I might go back and play. The older games, because there's a lot of lore to this. You look healthy. Taking everything. It was a dagger. It looked a lot bigger than a dagger. Uh, 
I know some people might want to read all that. I, I don't right now. That's funky looking. Well, into the abyss, I'm sure Kai will take care of his unfortunate soul. He died for the good of the entire order. We now know that we can't lay, try to lay planks across the reach to the other side of the chasm. It simply will not hold. With some unknown force blocking the passage, you can see the outline of the bridge. So it should be possible to cross it. Yet when Brother Jir Mikai watch over soul through rocks in that direction, there seems to be nothing but air. There must be a way. There must be some mechanism or spell yet we're yet to discover. Can't give up now. Okay. Yeah, it looked a lot bigger than the dagger. Yeah. So that's that's where we're heading, right? The arm of the ancient fort dweller keeps nagging at me. Why does it look so dead? All the depictions we saw before the were of living creatures and the skull. Similar to ours. It's almost disconcerting. Looks like a menhir. But menhir were raised by Merlin himself back in the old days, so that's possible. How could the ancient fort dwellers predict what Merlin would build in the future? Finally, we have the ultimate proof that Merlin actually couldn't have built the menhir himself. We found one buried deep down in the labyrinth. Brother Hugar is examining it as I write this, so we are the first to explore the depths of this Eye of the Dead. It clearly indicates that Merlin couldn't have invented Menor. Just checking if I could cancel the shot. There we go. Just trying to get that block. Yeah, that looks more like a short sword. Maybe daggers are just big. So the question arises, is there any significance to this minor having three arms instead of four? So how could we learn more? How could we examine it further without touching it? For father was brave enough to touch it with his bare hands, his disappearance shocked everyone. It's not that he died, he's just not here anymore. It's like he never existed. After that, our Pope, bless his name, forbade everyone from touching it again. I have to admit that I can hear it whispering. Call me by name, I don't know how much longer I can resist. I know I should report to my supervisor, just I don't want to. I'm sure someday I'll hear the calls and answer it. Oh well. Oh, fun. That's cool. Murahian, the 
all those glowing eyes. Increase your magic armor by 50. Let's go. What is this place? I do not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. Uh, what are you? Oh, I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not complete. I remember I once knew who I was at some point. But I do not anymore. I just am. You're a prisoner? I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you? <clears throat> Why are you? Transported here by a morbid statue. A man here. That would explain the weirdness surrounding us. Are you Merlin? Why do you want to leave? I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now but trust me the discomfort will be worth the outcome <laughs> temporal hold unlock oh okay Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be something different. I thought we were going to have to activate it to cross the bridge. Let's trigger it. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. It allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce the enemy's stamina. Yeah. When we reduce their stamina, they come staggered. Form a successful parry. Use block right before the enemy attack reaches you. Ah, we're just doing tutorial stuff. Okay. Let's see, there's stamina at the top. Temporal hold allows you to slow down time. Use it when it, however you want to attack, escape, so on. But remember that once used up, if you recharge, you recharge it by killing enemies. Middle mouse button.
So that's what that hand is in the corner there, okay. <clears throat> I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it, as promised. What did you do? I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. What are you? It seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul, judging by my abilities. I used to belong to what your kind would call a fall dweller. What do you want? <laughs> I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. And what about after we leave? I will try to help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Sure. Thank you. We shall meet again then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. Okay. <clears throat> Just double checking, there was nothing there. World to win. Four dwellers souls asked me to find more people within the weirdness. Uh, we still have to find the husband, and we're escaping. I believe this is just the prologue anyway. Ah, oh, look at the cute pelican. Cool, so we can now... Ah, oh, block that off, okay. Only have one arrow left. What is that arrow type? Is that one of my iron arrows or something? Hold on a minute. Yeah. Ooh. Party boys. Let's just continue on. <clears throat> Leave the uh, Cyclops that have had their eyes plucked out. There's writing. There's writing. Guard the peace of the, of the working titans for without them, we would not have the power within our walls. Away from two hand. Only the power that is of what is underground. Like two hand is like an ancient uh pagan Irish god, like the well not two hand himself, but the two hand Adana. Or like supposedly some of the earliest people to live in Ireland. Um Even when we leave the Titans will not stop working. This is how they were created. 
spare power one day, we will manage to learn what lies beyond the sea. <clears throat> Interesting. Is this the same or different? We must abandon the vision because what is beyond the sea came to us. We do not want it. We must leave it to defend ourselves. They are coming. The Titans will stay. That is not our dude. Boy. Oh, that didn't last long, yeah. Sixteen damage. Weird stone. Reminds me so much of Oblivion and stuff. Like it. Dark and Skyrim. Well, look, they're similar enough. But we do, we have a compass now. We have a map. Well, what's all this? I guess I have to level, right? Carrying capacity is increased. Enemy's weak spot deals plus 50% damage. Nice. Boost damage against monsters, lockpicks are less likely to break. Liberty leaving my post on the asylum island to deliver some disturbing news. My brothers have taken leave of their senses, their souls have been poisoned by an unknown vice that is not of the world. Is not the word, excuse me. I have evidence. My letter describes heresies happening in the island. The prior might be interested in discovery. Cool. I saw this icon when I was... Oh, look at that. We have a shovel. Who knew that would come in handy? And we get a robe. Oh. Do 
Can we not wear the rope? Wait, 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 wait. That was it. Um, free armor. Sure, off those calves. Where the hell am I going? Okay, loops are into there. Sure, let's continue on. And that just loops back around to here again. Cool. Wait, I didn't even see this. That's where I came out of? It is, isn't it? Yeah. If you like that the sprint does not drain your stamina. At least when you're not overweight anyway. Diary. Um, Hawthorne Moon, I've been roaming Avalon for far too long. I've had enough. Can't find any of my brothers, and nobody left a message at our agreed place. Is it really possible that I'm the last living of, of the living druids? Tried to, uh, tried to lay low near Connacht. Um, people there seem stern. The help. Of Hob in the sunken village, I made my way to the asylum island. That was the best decision I could have made. They'll never seek druids on their own territory, will they? Hob wasn't even surprised when I asked for the favor. Such a nice fella. Okay. There he is. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, conquer and Syria. Get some rest, people, and prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A few wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes little picked, but every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before, it will happen again, and soon. 
What a load of... Ah, ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Canadog. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal. But I don't question my orders, and if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. The tide's not right just yet, but it will break and start working in our favor by dusk. Fine. But where are we going, exactly? To the Horns of the South. Nice. A bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my people. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Rida, anything? <laughs> to take the Excalibur, obviously. I was gonna obviously. say, yeah, he's a Del Rida, yeah. <laughs> You'll see for yourselves soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over. And we have a long journey ahead of us. Yeah, so like the Del Rida were one of the kingdoms that kind of made up Scotland. And were they not at war with, or did they not like kind of wipe out the Picts eventually? I can't remember. But I'll stick to being Irish. Can we just dig anywhere? It's not how you dig, man. No. We cannot just dig anywhere. How did the priests manage to catch you? With great bloody difficulty, that's how. What's it to you anyway? You think you can try your luck now? I wouldn't count on it. I like the uh, the symbol above his uh, left nipple there. Oh, it must have been a legendary ballet. You must have taken out at least a dozen of them. A dozen? Ha! They wish. Those bastards laid a trap, hoping I'd be easy pickings. They ended up needing damn near a full army to take me down. Spineless pricks. They make my blood boil. I swear to you, one day I'll come back to this place, slaughter them all, and then burn it to the ground. You don't look like someone who'd easily fall into a trap. There was me, there were women, one thing led to another, and I woke up with my pants down. Surrounded by gobshites in the red. I was fighting with my bare ass hanging out, and I still managed to kill a dozen of them. Useless knobs. Must have added something to the maid. What can you tell me about Tal Ruda? Which tribe do you want to know about? Volker? Svein? Dude? You'll find as many of them as fleas on a mutt. And the only thing we all agree on is that Camelot needs to be put in its place. It's about time we reminded them why they wanted us to come here. We came to this blasted island as one people. But Camelot forgot that the moment they stopped needing us for their wars. They think their shit doesn't smell. And that we're just a bunch of stupid savages that will happily get killed for a bag of coins and a pretty promise. Bunch of smug pricks. <laughs> it's the you on the boot. That you will, Bob. That you will. I have a bad feeling about all this. I wish there was some other way of getting off this cursed island. This is not Star Wars. Oh, I had the horns on your head. What about them? Have you always had them, or are they new? Why? Have you never heard of the famous horned woman of Avalon before? Of course they're new, you nitwit. 
A gift from our kind friends in red. Or for them, considering how much they liked testing how well they attached to my head. How did you end up here? Same as you, I guess. Wrong time, wrong place. The village I was passing through got raided by the Red Shields. Someone must have really hated their neighbor, if you know what I mean. They snatched me up too. Said that since I was an outsider, I was most likely the one who bought the plague. <laughs> Scum. Well, you can trust me, it's not like I can tell anyone I met a Pictish woman while escaping the Asylum Island. You better remember that I can push you off the boat, and I will if you don't learn to mind your own business. Ah, oh, she's one of them. Okay. It might be for the best. Something tells me we'll all need our strength. I told you to get some rest. Mm. The journey ahead won't be pleasant. The sea is angry today. The path you told me to take, what was all that? I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea where it led. And I don't want to know. All I know is that I was supposed to show you the way. The question was whether you were meant to see it through. It seems you were. Dominator transported me somewhere. I don't <clears throat> need to know, and I don't really want to know. You can explain it all to my patron when we get to our destination. Proper mercenary, yeah? Your patron? Everyone's working for someone, but don't even hope I'll tell you who I'm working for. You've proven you're a survivor. You still haven't proven we can trust you. And our destination. <laughs> All you need to know for now is that we're heading towards the Horns of the South. There, we're going to take Excalibur, and then be on our way. The Excalibur. Yes, the one and only. Listen, I can see you have a lot of questions, but I truly have no intention of answering them. <laughs> Maybe you can just get some rest instead. They're just going to give it to us? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? <clears throat> Okay. You have decided to trust Caradoc, at least for now. You have embarked on your journey towards the Horns of the South. But as soon as you found yourselves at sea, black clouds gathered over your heads, like tangible proof that there must be some curse on you. Soon the wind was howling, and the gargantuan waves were towering over you. You found yourselves in the heart of a storm. The only thing you remember is the deafening roar of cracking wood, and then... darkness. You open your eyes. You are alive. Just about, eh? <clears throat> uh, uh, Are you guys one second? One second. <clears throat> See if that worked. Anyone's interested in the 
game should be a link popping up there. That should take you to the Steam page. Right. Yeah, a bit of bread. Fish, some potato. An axe. Get you there. Oh, wait, really? <coughs> Open this letter in the event of my death. I understand you may not trust me, however, you owe me your life. And I need this debt to be repaid. The nameless one, the one I rescued from prison. They're more important than any of you realize. You must protect them. Bring them to the captain of the horns. Ensure they undergo the ancient trial of the sea. I realize I'm asking a lot. We must put an end to this madness. Paradox. Okay then. I wonder if we'd have, like helped him with his wounds, would he have survived? Also, how much does that axe do? Four to seventeen? like that first. That's not comparing now. Oh, it's a 200. Oh, okay. Uh, it says it there, doesn't it? Very heavy tool. We only have daggers. We have a rusty short sword to 7 to 11. A dagger does 9 to 11. And you're doing 9 to 14, so we'll keep you with the shield. Um, put that in that there, and then put the magic sword there. <clears throat> Nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting there, nothing there, all the same. Gone the Dalarita Kilt, or Kilt, Jesus. Uh, quick slots, okay. Health potion goes in there. Were they open before and I just didn't see it? Hey, Maki, how you doing? They probably were, and I just didn't see it. And a small health potion, that's all I'll need. Now we can, yeah. Doing fine, good to hear. We do have a map. Here we go. These lands are going to be unraveled at a later date when fate and time will steam it. This is the starting area. Oh, we have a point available. Well, yeah, we're going to do that. We go to Dex. Okay, so we can level that or get one of these. I'm going to take that first. Oh, never mind. Do both? Cool. Did I just acquire all of these? Every hit has a 5% chance of being critical. No, I can't. I saw that we had one point put in there, but I didn't see where it told us we could get one of these, or unless it's just linked. Character said he saved us so that we can help him kill King Arthur and steal Excalibur. Then the Caradoc gave us should grant me safe passage to the Horns of the South. Final letter describes heresies happening on the island. Yeah, that's fine. That's the safe conduct pass. All 
Alright, we're all good there. Shipwreck survivor, reduce incoming damage by 25% for three minutes. Sounds easy. Yeah, just kill King Arthur, steal Excalibur. Simples. Alright then, let's uh That does that. Now, if we go back into character. Status, that's not a status. That's just there now. Hmm. Cool. I have no mana regen. That's not a human. Okie dokie. Keeper's tags. Corn keeper's armor. We're taking it all. And we're encumbered. Who would have known? Jesus. Right. Trapped everything. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Took longer than we thought it. Um can use some of that. So that's worth one gold. We can drop that. Drop that. The red face rows are worth 64. Do that. We can um, <clears throat> go into weapons. You're worth 120. I guess we only need one shovel. You're worth 95. 12, 18, 20. Now. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. This is going to be a big pile of items. There's a wolf ahead of us, I saw that. Causes rage. <clears throat> All right, stuff is loading in. Carnations. Flower, like corpses. You actual humans up there. See if we have to kill them straight away or after we talk to them.
But if it turns out there's nothing here, I'll be really pissed off. What are you on about? The stone itself is valuable. Yeah, but we've been swinging for so long that I'd like to see something more than just a pile of rocks. Well, you won't find out unless we finish the job, so stop moaning Mont Dig itself. What are you doing here? Get lost. This is our spot. What kind of volumes are you looking for here? None. We're just doing maintenance. What's it to you? Came to destroy this thing. It's ancient. Yep. It's old. This means nobody needs it anymore. That's right. Who needs some old statue when people have nothing to keep their homes warm and their villages secure? And even if it dates back to King Arthur's time, so what? If Arthur were alive, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. <laughs> if he were alive, our families would have been starving. So there. Your families are starving. And what's it to you? Who are you anyway? I don't know. Come on, Jordan. Look at him. He ain't no nobleman. They're all a bunch of greasy slobs. Does he look like a greasy slob to you? Right. Here's the thing. Somebody wants a piece of this rock for their home. They want something made out of it, like a table or such like. And since regular wood and normal stone aren't good enough for greasy slobs, we're mining this statue. They said it's more valuable or something. I don't know. It just looks like a dirty old stone to me. It'll be a right pain to make a table out of this shit, but what do I know? Can't you just not do it? Run away? Nobody's guarding you. Oh, if only it were that simple. Tell me. My friend here got in trouble with the law when he was younger. Yeah, the law. A girl from our village, one I liked, married a dickhead from Camelot's army. He wasn't happy to learn that she had previous lovers. So, I got a taste of Camelot's justice. They said I was a traitor, and they gave me a choice. See my family hanged, or serve the local lord. One of the greasiest slobs out there. I've been working for him since I was a kid. My friend's father was a gambler. One day, he ran out of coin, and he gambled his son away. We're told we'll pay off our debts someday, but it doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. So... We dig. And we can't really run because there's nowhere to run to. The greasy slob's lapdog camps out at the crossroads. He makes sure we'll pay our dues. <clears throat> I could dispose of the man who holds your head over you. This sounds like a brilliant idea. But if you did manage to do that... Well, the man's been collecting debts from others, too, so he must be loaded. We could be free, and you could be rich. Would you really do that for us? Yeah, for you, sure. He's camping out near the arch spire. If you go through the east gate nearby, head right, and then go towards that crazy tower. You'll find him by one of the roads. Bring payments. Get some roses. Ah, they seem okay. <clears throat> yeah, I have zero mana regen. Okay.
Oh, he doesn't do an attack. Okay. No, he does a triple attack if you let him. Stained shirts are not worth much. Nighters spoil me, probably. Blood Lake. We can go underwater. We have oxygen bar. Okie dokie, more loot. Yeah, but is it worth much? I see it's not worth it. Oh wait, there were the keepers. They're actually worth it. Hold on a minute. Let me pick back up those keeper things. Yeah, there's still only five armor, so yeah, they can go. They can go, they can go, and I can probably just get rid of a few of these. So wait. <clears throat> oh, I never looked back at that. Okay, enemies respawn. Good to know. <clears throat> Let's continue on now. <clears throat> 